Ladies and gentlemen, this is what happens when you take fast-paced, gory, doom-like violence mixed with heavy metal music and throw in some Call of Duty zombies. I present to you, Killing Floor 2. War. What is up ladies and gentlemen of YouTube, welcome back to another episode of Victory Gaming Network. So today I'm going to be reviewing a game called Killing Floor 2. This is available for $39.99 US dollars and uh, is very, very fun. Now I know I'm a little late, I'm quite a bit actually, I'm very late to the party with this but I don't do this for views, I just do it because I enjoy doing it and I wanted to let you guys know how fun this game actually is. So, uh, basically what this game is, is if you took Doom and combined it with Nazi Zombies. So to start you off, you're going to choose a class. There's multiple different classes to choose from, each with their own abilities and things like that. And they all have their own starting weapons, melee item, and grenade in addition to the standard 9mm pistol. My personal favorite is Gunslinger. All that's basically all pistols and all the perks that come with it relate to pistols. My personal favorite pistol in the game is the, is the Desert Eagle, which you guys are seeing some gameplay of here. Now there are some microtransactions in the game. However, all the microtransactions basically you um, they're open. You get these loot crates and things like that after playing the game, and uh, they contain cos inside. They'll contain cosmetic skins, things like that. Um, and they to buy the keys to open them, it'll cost you about two dollars and fifty cents. So it's really not that expensive. If you care to buy those, those are there. I have never bought any. I don't care for skins or anything like that. But that is there for those who choose to do so. So in the game, you will have two different game modes. The first one is your standard survival, which I personally find the most enjoyable. You fight through a set amount of waves. You can set it to a minimum of four waves or a maximum of ten waves. And then at the end, then in between matches, you will uh, use the amount of money. You can use the amount of money, or dosh as it's called, to upgrade your weapons, buy new gear, things like that. And then at the very end, you will have a boss fight. And uh, if you manage to kill the boss you win and then in addition to that you also have versus survival which is the same as survival the only difference is that you have uh, people on the Z team which is the zombies you have people on the other team actually controlling some of the uh, Zeds uh, it's definitely unique and interesting it's it's pretty fun actually being able to control the Zeds but it certainly feels like it's the lesser game mode here me personally I recommend playing survival more so than the versus um, but it is there uh, for those of you who are interested in such. So overall, Killing Floor 2, what do I think of it? Well, I've had a lot of fun with it. All the guns sound really great. They handle really well. They're really fun to use. The heavy metal score that is in the game blends really, really nicely with what's happening on screen. That's coming from a heavy metal music fan myself. And uh, the Zeds are all unique. They all have their own unique abilities. They don't feel like your typical cliche zombies. Uh, and so yeah, overall I've had a lot of fun with this game. The only downside to it personally, in my opinion, uh, there is only two bosses. There is the, the first one which is called Patriarch. And then the second, Dr. Hans Volter, I believe is, the, is how you pronounce the name. And, uh, so, it would, I mean, after a while, you're gonna eventually get used to those two same bosses. Uh, they're still fun to fight them, even though there's only two of them, but it would be nice to have more of a variety. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If so, be sure to give it a like, subscribe down below, and be sure to hit that little bell notification so that you get notified anytime I upload new, any new videos. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below about Killing Floor 2, if you enjoyed it, if you hated it, etc. I look forward to hearing what you guys have to say about the game. And uh, that is pretty much it. So, I will see you guys on the next episode of Victory Gaming Network. Until then, take care and thanks for watching.